Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Zombies. Zombies! Whoa, ha, 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 ha. So, guys, we're back here in this episode where, as you guys can see, I am the ultimate great power, and everyone should bow down to me because I am the greatest. All bow down, well, all bow down to America and its mighty glory. Yes, and apparently I forgot to take off the map. Um, sorry, it just keeps, it comes up every time I load up the game. So sometimes, so sometimes it'll like be there and then sometimes I'll forget about it. I'm so sorry for that. It does, eh, I do get kind of annoyed by it, but then I don't get kind of annoyed by it. It's kind of like a mixture. And our economy is now starting to collapse, probably because due to all the subsidies. Oh my goodness, these steel factories are costing us way too much. Uh, steel, I'm sorry, but you guys, steel is just out of, out of business now. I don't know what happened, but... Steel was like so much in popularity, but then it like died. I don't I don't know what happened. It just like just magically one day steel is gone from the world. And you know, it kinda makes me sad because steel was like the bomb. Okay, but I know there's a state I do have specifically I have to look for. Pennsylvania. Where's Pennsylvania? Uh Pennsylvania, there it is. This this one's costing us the most. Okay, that should drop our economy up a little bit. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a lot of little tiny ones that are just, like, affecting us, but not really, like, killing us. It also doesn't help that I'm, like, treating the capitalists like royalty. I mean, I'm really not, like... It, the taxes on the capitalists are just, like, minuscule, and that's only because I need them to build my economy. There we go! We're all in positives again. What? We're now friends. And remember that song, Why Can't We Be Friends? Now it's Why Are We? We are friends, why are we our friends? Alright, long leave the USA as we spread our Americanness around the world. Yay! It almost sounds like a germ! Okay, so anyways, machine guns is about to be done in a couple turns. Um these is about to be done in a couple turns. I have two armies right here, right now taking nutrition because of their stupidity. Uh they're moving together with stupidity. That's not good. Okay, you know what? Just combine and keep in Las Cruces and San Diego and we'll just stay right here. Actually, San Diego is the only part of Mexico that did not get taken over by the zombie apocalypse. I don't know why. That seems kind of like an inside joke somewhere. I don't know why, but it does seem like an inside joke. So, yeah. Uh, we have... Um, what should we work on next? I feel like we should probably go into industry a little bit more because that's really where this game excels at and considering I am building a colonial empire in Europe it's kinda good that we do get some you know colonial ventures in there I think I finally like uh, go into another colony so let's see what do I want to colonize next could also start colonizing England if I really wanted to which actually would not be that bad of an idea um, but do I wanna I might wanna get the Rylands first cause the Rylands are just like Oversaturated with coal and iron and stuff like that. I mean, I, I feel like Germany could just power my country for like years on years on end. I mean, it sounds bad using Germans. Well, these aren't technically Germans anymore because technically all the Germans died when the first like zombie wave came. I mean, we are still in a zombie apocalypse and the zombies could still come back, but this is like we're using basically the labor of like the surviving like little tiny quarantine zones in these places to benefit our goals okay this place has finally become a protectorate welcome to our empire well, thank you for joining our empire I should say uh, you are finally joining us thank you uh, you are finally joining us thank you okay now we got more diplomatic power so we can expand even more now we go to Bruno because Bruno is also a pretty good place if I remember correctly Yes, they have tons of coal. So let's start expanding down there. Okay, and let's see. Is there anything in Abs Amsterdam I might want to get? Because I know I'm expanding, but is there anything in Amsterdam I specifically want to get? Or can we leave them a little bit for last? We could possibly leave them for last. I don't... As far as this game concerns, there is not much in Amsterdam worth taking. So let's just go into Zombie Wettenberg, because I think that'd be... Uh, Kinda like this. <laughs> I don't think we own that though, and I think we're still getting yeah, we're still getting a justification on Bavaria, so we can't do it yet. So let's think. We can also go over here. Anything good over Ooh, I like that. Let's get some let's get some uh, colonization over here in Austria! Yeah! Okay, and 
Some other things is American Bohemia can be like... What? What can American Bohemia be? A protectorate. Yes! American Bohemia is a protectorate. Phraseland can also be a protectorate. Yes! A protectorate. And incorporating as a state costs 16 colonial points? What? Oh shoot, we have to do that. Okay, so let's encourage... We can, we could like... Mm, if we just like encourage immigration just by a little bit, we could like make all this a state. I mean, look at that. It's only... How much does this region even have in total? 700, 900, 300, uh, 200, uh, 600? That's only like maybe about 3,000 in total right here. And they're coming for us, everyone! They're coming for us! I know those good no barbarians are coming for us somehow with those fancy... With those fancy... Actually, what do Bombarians make? <laughs> um... Uh... I... The Prospector is... Confused. He honestly doesn't know what they would make. So we'll leave it at that. But, let's go take some territory from Bavaria. Cause that's just what we do. We just take territory from our neighbors. So, declare war. You guys aren't gonna stand a chance against me, just so you know. Okay. Let's see, anyone calling in allies? One ally that I'm going to annex. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I mean, uh, the world the world as we know it is is either American or is is governed by quarantine zones. Well, I that's that's a little bit farce because I guess I guess it's it's America, Canada, um, France, Spain, and Scandinavia. That's how the world is divvied up into, because the rest of the places are just kind of collapsing, and this is all gonna vanish very quickly. And I feel so bad for the Santo like Caliphate, because I remember I remember in the entire games, usually almost every game these guys survive. That's usually because they have no contact with Europeans. And as soon as they get contact with Europeans, the Santo are just wiped off the map. Uh, this, that's just like the funniest and saddest thing ever to happen. And, oh, oh, that's just Prussian Guard. I thought that was zombies. I thought I was going to have to deal with like a whole new bunch of zombies and be like, yeah, this is not good. Okay, let's see. Americans should start to like immigrate to all these places. Let's see. Uh, imi are people immigrating to over here? I'll have to check in a little bit, but let's just keep getting some cheap steel. Cheap steel would be pretty nice. We have so much places that could produce cheap steel. And let's see. We're gonna annex Hesse Donschmidt. It's somewhere over here. There it is. Okay, this is a place for Hesse Donschmidt. And can I add a war goal? No, because my genderism is down. Shoot. That kind of stinks. I was hoping to add like more land to this. Look at that. We're starting to like expand, and we got so much to expand to. Like we're not even like close to being done. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like a little bit happy for me to see like all this expansion because I've been like. <sighs> Curse you, Cuba. You're making me actually have to go send men down there. And let's go start getting there. Now we have a border with France! Wee! Okay, but yes, now they made me have to go actually go send a real army to go deal with that. So let's go. Let's go make this army right here go to be the protectors of Cuba. Because Cuba might be a really rebellious state. And that might throw our constitution a little bit off. Not our constitution, our laws a little bit off because we don't want them to rebel against us because we need to have a perfect united America and another place that's finished more of the colonized lands are finishing oh my goodness this is, this is like just great okay uh, trail of tears <laughs> okay and now these two places can become protectorate let's make a protectorate yes okay let's see and where do we want to move up next ooh this is good land right here Move right here. Um, <laughs> we can also move over here and get some more land right over there. I mean, it does open up a lot of possibilities if I go. Yeah, let's go this way because ah, dang, I don't have enough colonial points. Curse you, colonial range! 
Okay. So let's see. We just have to conquer two regions from the Bavarians, and they should give up. Bavaria I'm not ho is not going to be like a major fighting country. I can only tell you that. And next after that, I think I'm going to go after um these guys. Yeah, there we go. See? Was a major fighting state. So now, next time I go and fight them, they're going to be annexed. And that way, our empire is like slowly but surely looking like Germany. Okay. So now we're going to go after the... Belgiums, because I've been like, it's been two episodes, I've been waiting to annex these guys this entire time. Ah, oh, I can't annex them. Okay. Hmm. I could take a state from them, but that wouldn't be as fun. Hmm. I want to annex people, I don't want to just be in, like, this weird, protected by, you're a protectorate of Sweden? Huh. Sweden, can I annex you? No. Dang it. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, it's a little bit weird with my neighbors because some of them own colonies and some of them don't. Just depends on how they do stuff. Africa is again falling apart because the Europeans decided to go in and conquer stuff. Good job, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at American South America. Look at that. Compared to Africa. <laughs> For shame, Europeans. For shame. But, um... Okay, these guys... Ah, that state is still hasn't vanished yet. I'm waiting for that to vanish, but where should we conquest next? Eh, actually, let's just, like, stay out of the conquest range for, like, a couple years. Let's just, like, kick back our boots, relax, do some micromanaging. Let's see, what's really costing us right now? Uh, this, um, if I delete a lumber, clothe, uh, Illinois and Arkansas, artillery factory in Arkansas and luxurious clothes factory in Illinois. That's what we need to destroy, so let's go to Illinois. Uh, let's just go to Arkansas, actually. That'd be much quicker. Do, 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 Arkansas. Delete the, uh, artillery. Because the clothes factory is actually doing well in Arkansas. And then, what was the other state? Uh, luxurious clothes factory in Illinois. So down to Illinois. Luxurious clothes. Yeah, this thing's not gonna last. Well, it might last. I mean, it is expanding. I mean, that just might not be due to a mistake on our end. Or, I mean, a mistake in my miscounting, because they might actually be expanding. Which means they might have a little bit more colonial range than we thought. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else we can expand to? No. And factory output. Kaboom! Yeah, and more ultra-liberals spawning. These guys are just not going to give me a break. I'm going to have you guys set to kill all rebels on Cuba. Because Cuba seems like a very revolting place. Not in terms of its looks, but in terms of how it's going to always revolt against me. I like to make that perfectly clear right now. And, let's see. What should we go after next? Where should we go after next? Where should we go after next? Might, get, might be good to go get a uh, Middle Eastern colony. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just like thinking where should we like go and like colonize and do all that kind of stuff guys, that's what I'm kind of thinking right now, if you must know. Um, I really don't think we need to do anything, and, oh we could do a now, we could do a new reform! What do you guys want now? Acceptable pensions? Yeah, I could give that to you guys. Minimum wage? I could give that to you guys. I could give that to you guys, I could give that to you guys, I could give that to you guys. Or acceptable education. You know, let's get acceptable education, because then all the other countries, immigrants will come towards me. Which is going to be pretty nice, because... I, we kind of need more diversity. I mean, like, 72% of our country is Yankee. I wish we had more people in our country besides just Yankees. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, good. Oh, for once I thought this game was going to crash. That would have been terrible. And assert our position. Why not? Let's just assert our position inside the Netherlands. Because why do we care about infamy at this point? Let's just assert our position in the Netherlands and say they are ours. Okay, we have more mechanized mining now. Uh, we're gonna get some organized factories, and I'm wondering why, like, Russia never recovered yet. I mean, Russia's like a scattered power right now, yes, but I wonder why they never actually, like, you know, retook their land and, like, reformed. I mean, if Serbia can do it, I'm pretty sure the almighty, uh, Russians could do it, and that is the coin, that is the, like, safe zone of the Ottomans, this little tiny country in the... What? Why would they make a quarantine zone in the, in the like, Bosnian region? That's like, 
almost anti turkish from like the gecko. Oh my goodness, I would think that like the people there would have already overthrown the government and like destroyed everything. I mean my government, my people certainly over try to overthrow me almost every second. I mean, and I'm a, I'm like a really, really free nation. So I would think that they would overthrow like the Turkish leader almost instantly. It's just knowing it's the Turks. I guess not though, I guess not. So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna start expanding more into this region of colonizing. Cause this is just like, ooh, this region just finished. Yay. Okay. Ooh, I just started a new region. Yay. Let's just get this region right here. Get this stamped out. Do, do, do. Get this right there. And then let's see. There's something. There's some cool things over here I'd like to get. And we can start building more like ships and stuff. And oh my goodness, it's gonna be so awesome. Okay. And our sphere of influence can just basically go into the entire world. We could influence the entire world to be us. It wouldn't be that hard. And the free. Oh my goodness, that is a gigantic African nation. That is the free. That is the Scandinavian free state of Northern Antolia. Oh my goodness, that is like the African nation. Like, seriously. There, I don't think there is anything bigger than this nation. I, I, to be honest with you, this could actually become a great power. It's already a second day power. And you know what? I kind of want to make it a second day power. So let's see. Let's see if we can make... Oh! The already is a great power from Africa! What? Oh, sweet! Yeah! Good job, Kingdom of Gamba! Wait, was it Kingdom or was it the Confederation? Let me see. Oh, it was the Confederation of Segal! Good job! An African nation actually is a great power. It's actually gonna drop your base soon. But an African nation, for the briefest of times, was a great power in Victoria too. Now, this is why you should play this mod, guys. Is because in almost any other in almost any other game, I can tell you for a fact that will never happen. Not even if you play Egypt, that will never happen. Well, if you're the human, okay, if you're the human player, it could probably happen. If you play one of these nations in Africa, well, specifically, you could you'd have to play as either Egypt, Egypt, or you'd have to play as um, Najed and then conquer Hernandez and then just expand Africa as Arabia, but. In all honesty, that doesn't usually happen, so it doesn't usually happen where the AI actually becomes a great power by itself. That's what I mean to say. That's amazing. Okay, it seems like the people are getting mad at me again, so time to hire taxes. Because that is ultimately the solution to everything. Um, let's see, we have 605, so that means I'm going to have to have... Okay, so if I increase this to about 70 each, that should be about good. There we go. Now we have a surplus of money. It should start to go up in about a couple days. There we go. Surplus of money. Always gotta love it. Okay. So let's see. I could start conquering all this. I really could start conquering all this. I'm really thinking about it. Because I really do want this land down here. Like, maybe I could, like, expand from here to the United States all the way to down here into American South America. Maybe after I combine both these places, maybe they'll just call it America. As it should be. So, yeah, let's try to accomplish that. And, let's see, do we need anything else from there? No, not really. Let's get some steamers, though. Pre-Dreadnoughts are always fun to build. And honestly, the only unit I actually build in this game in terms of, like, ships, because they're the only ones that are actually good. Appa and apparently, I think the Congo of Seagal is going to survive because they'll just out-colonize the rest of the Europeans. I mean, it sounds really stupid, but I think that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna survive because they out-colonize everyone. They're also an independent nation of their own, but they're gonna... I, I don't know. This is, like, such a confusing mess over here in Africa. Uh, like, I don't know who's gonna disappear and who's gonna live. I mean, all the conquered land that used to belong to Zombos has now been all, like, re-established, but the zombies are coming back through the games. I mean, it's, it's all confusing over there. Just all confusing. And... Slovakia has now become my next protectorate. Let's make that an instant protectorate. And let's see what's our next thing. Tyrol is now going to become our next, like, little mini country. Now we have a border with Sweden! Huzzah! And now let's see. There's some really good land down here that I would really love to get. Um, do I want to get the iron or do I want to get the precious metals? Uh, 
I think the iron would be slightly more worth it, because then I think we also get the silk. Yes, we also get some silk, which would be pretty nice for my factories to have. So, let's get the silk, and then Tyrol also wants to become a protectorate. No problem, dude. You can become a protectorate all you want, and... Let's see, what do we want next time to be? Do, do, do. Wow, this region's only two provinces. It's not worth very much. Let's go right here. Yeah, it sounds way better. And look at that. American. It's even starting to say American Europe. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Such a beautiful title. I wonder what happens when you actually... The Avengers of Hugmavian! Oh my goodness, they finally made the book! So everyone, in, in 1685, Mark Twain published The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and completely revolutionized American fiction. Up until publication, American fiction had tended to utilize to the former language two of its European predecessors before the zombie apocalypse. That's very important, children. Mark Twain fired a shot in the name of linguistic independence by beautifully depicting the speech of the American illiterate and the franchise. What are they talking about there? And the book is clearly an attempt to show how people of all kinds are worthy of respect due to their actions, not to their status. At the time, it caused an uproar between its un unconventional form and theme was worthy ignored. Even today, people seem to miss the poem. Well, then I'll go to hell for it! <laughs> uh, for those guys who don't know, that's actually a reference to the inside book. And, oh, I thought those were zombies for saying that. No, those are just British reactionaries. Yeah, you guys go do whatever you want. But yeah, that's um, that's actually a line in the book where Huck's making this really big moral decision about should he turn in, um... Oh my goodness, I... Uh, oh, gosh. I don't remember the main... The, I don't remember the, um... Hmm... I don't remember the, the slave's name. Um. Oh gosh, somebody in the comment section, please help me out here. But you guys know what I'm talking about. His name it starts with a J. Um, John? No, it's not John. It's Jen. Not Jenny. It's definitely not Jenny. Um, Joseph? No. Um, Chamberlain? No. It's not the real name. I don't remember. Ah. It's on the tip of my tongue, I know it is, but I just don't remember. Um, but anyways, it's a gr it, that guy, he basically, that's basically when, when um, Huck Bay Finn is like deciding if he wants to turn in the slave guy and say, you know, should I turn this guy in or should I not? And he says like, well then, you know, he decides, no, I will not. And he says, you know, well then, I'm going to go to hell for it. Yeah. What a, what a, like, good, all-inspiring line right there. Showing that, like, humans can overcome, like, you know, prejudice and stuff like that. And apparently we are losing a lot of stuff right now. Um, wow, cost just, like, jumped up to, like, insane amounts. Probably because of all this administration we're doing. That's just, like, 20% administration's good. Let, let's be real here. We're not actually having to administrate that much. But, yeah, I mean, Huckleberry Finn. Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> I was just about to get into a good controversial argument, but apparently we're out of time, people, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.